Hey guys and welcome to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you guys can make these extruded text or n-group text in Fusion 360 using any font you want available from your font library in your computer. So uh, uh, basically, it is something which is uh, currently given by Fusion 360 only across. Uh, uh, all other uh, engineering softwares like Ansys and Katia and this so I'm going to tell you how you can uh, make this extruded or and group text on any object on any component or of any shape you want so uh, the ways are same you can use your mind and do whatever you want I'm just going to tell you the trick how to do this so uh, let's. I will tell you just how can you can just engrave this text on simple shapes. You, uh, shapes could be anything. So uh, let me just create a box. Just select the plane and create a rectangular box. And just let me just do it. Yeah. So uh, a box is created. Suppose that I want to engroup my name on this surface. So just click on create sketch and click on text. Uh, it will ask you to choose the plane on which you want to write the text. Remember, text can only be written on a planes. So just let uh, let me just select this plane and it will uh, ask you where to uh, start with. Let me just. Uh, Click on this point. First thing that it will ask about is text. Uh, uh, I will write my name Kazafi, and you can see that it's writing my name. You can flip over the direction accordingly, and to increase the size, you can just move the text along this. Along this. To increase the size, you have to um, change the height of the text and you can underline or italic or you can just pull this type and there are hundreds of different types of uh, uh, writing which you can use in this uh, suppose that I have taken this and this let me just press on ok now as the text is written now the simple trick that you have to use is click on extrude and sometimes extrude command don't work on this you you just have to select this and you just have to extrude this but sometimes extrude command don't work on this and it give some random error then you can also use this press pull command which is nearly same as vision 360 so if you want your text to be extruded just extrude your text uh, and click on join so it will uh, create uh, extruded text like this and you can also uh, paint and you can also do different things like that and similarly if you just if you want the uh, text to be engrooved into the surface just go to edit features yeah and instead of uh, moving this in positive direction you can make this uh, happen in negative also so I think that the uh, uh, the distance is too much let me just make it minus 2 will that work let me just press ok no I didn't, I didn't know what just happened we have to just do this text and let me just do the same on the back side or we can just uh, again go to text select this space yeah and write text say xyz hey guys uh, <coughs> the one error which i am uh, facing that uh, while uh, making and grooved text if you use extrude command then it will give you error while if you use press pull command which is the same as you can also extrude your text or 
I also engraved by using extrude cut command and by clicking on OK you can just make the text extruded. Not only this you can project your uh, text to any face you want let's suppose that make if I just make a sphere and if I want to write my text on this then I have to make a plane so if I just use this plane as in sketch and just click on point and write my name here just increase the height to say 30 yeah 30 it will um, this and you can select any uh, I think yeah this will look great make it 25 no I think then they will work here yeah. this and press on ok now the next thing what you have to do is just go to extrude command select these sketch and to start from uh, click on from object and to uh, an object just click on this and wait for the system to respond actually the system is a little bit slow and it is saying extrude distance you can extrude the distance oh he, he, and select the object and wait for some time yeah so here it is yeah this is what it look like it will look like and you can also if you want you can also uh, just use extrude cut to engrave these text into this sphere so if you want your text to be engraved like this and you can just engrave your text like this and press ok then it will take you some time for processing to get completed and um, it will automatically will engrave your text in there not only this if you if you have chosen the option to join then you can get this type of shape in uh, this so here's the tutorial of fusion 360 extruded text trick so if you have any queries feel free to comment in the comment section like this video and also subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day